Okay, we're back. I went ahead and changed the computer. We're gonna see if the time... Or... Change the computer. I changed the date and time on my damn computer. Welcome back, everybody. It's me, GSD. Last time, we had trouble getting into certain places because the Donut Head girl said that there was a time where we could go into the police station, which was daytime. It seems there is a time mechanic. Fuck my life. Cause I spent so much damn time. Look, the lights are off. Damn it. You're still here doing your creepy ass research. That's all right. That's okay. You keep on keeping on. Yeah, the clock was throwing me off because it was it's counting down. I don't know if that's the actual time though because I set this to 7 a.m. 7:28 a.m. Sorry, man. How do you do it? The flying part, I mean. Um... Ohm. Oh, it's an ohm! There's an order in the universe, excuse me? Ohm, don't have negative thoughts. What ohm? Concentrate on your mantra. Oh, sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Ohm, go away! All right. Hey, there's a coin here. I wonder if I was hitting these invisible coins when I was just walking around at night. You see some at night, you see some in the day. This person's gone. Take some of this. I remember you from the first game. I can't talk to you though. The place is cleared out. There's no point in being in here. So it's a cool idea, <coughs> but it was confusing as all hell. There's nothing in here except for that little indication that she said police stations closed that night. Right? Which makes sense. But it doesn't make sense because it's 24 hours. A police station is a 24 hour thing. Madeline Myers. It was a foul breathed middle aged man doing snooping around us at a school talking to young girls. Listen, annoying girl. I asked the questions here. I'm an FBI agent. Have you seen anything strange in the past few days? Maybe. But I would never tell someone with such a bad breath as yours. Leave her, I'll call my father. Okay then, thank you anyway. Hey, why are you twisting your neck that way? It makes you look possessed or something. The doctor says that it has to do with me walking on the ceiling, puking out my ears and talking Latin in my sleep. But that's none of your business. Yeah, it's a little suspicious. Maybe you shouldn't be doing that. More ratio. Just saying. Just a heads up. Well, well, Agent Walpurgis, tell me, are you on the abduction case? Maybe I could interview you. How is it possible? How did you find out? Mm, let's say I have my sources. By the way, I have some information. They say Myers' dog loves sardines. I don't know what that could mean. See? This is the thing. Now, I was like, some of these quests are a little disjointed. And now it makes sense. People are gonna tell me shit based on the time of day. I would have known how to do certain things if I had been here in the day. Oh, it's Rosa. Did you know that there's a community of blind mongooses that wake up with different color fur every morning? No, I didn't. Chef! Repto Chef! It's you! I don't want any trouble, friend. I'm trying to steal the witch's recipe. They say that she prepares a delicious coelacanth curry. I know. She's gonna make me so- Oh! I need- I need- I need those. Thank you. Oh, baby. Give me that, give me that. It is open. The fucking... Hey. You. FBI, listen up. Do you know anything about an abduction? I have just been interrogated in the police station. I have nothing to do with the fire in the sawmill or with the abduction of the girl. I see. We offending, right? You're the black sheep of the town. Relax, my friend. Around here, we don't like strangers. Actually, they tend not to last long. You've been warned. Are you threatening the FBI? I'll keep my eye on you, Lone Gan. Lone Gan? Uh, okay. Uh, hey, how did you get here? You're supposed to be at home. Oh. Hey, sir, do you know that the local currency is the Creeptel? If you plant one in the ground and water it, you can grow a chocolate mandrake. Okay. Alright. Hey, there's somebody over there. And you look so super normal compared to everybody else. What are you doing? That looks like Mulder. Mulder? 
And nobody else is near. Hey! Mm, I can smell the... Yeah, okay. So the one place that we haven't gone to is inside the police station, the new shit. I just wanted to get all the coins and see all the new new. Get me inside here. What do I do do? Hey, y'all. What are you up to? Hey. Seems like he's murmuring something. I think he's saying something about a fishing rod. Hey, Latricio. If you remember the first episode, you may know that in the second part there was a secret door that led you to a basement with the minigame Criminal Activity 3. Ah, uh, excuse me? You're not saying anything. And Sheriff. Anything new, Sheriff? Nothing at the moment. We think Lone Gan may be involved in the kidnapping, although clues also lead to Lester Pester. But nothing is for sure. Right now I'm thinking where I could have left my fishing rod. Okay. So. Ain't nothing here. Everybody's telling me I need to do the fire thing, so do that. That. Got it, and got it. There's a treasure chest. Hooray! Spin on the... Oh, no! Oh, no! Exit! Exit! I need to figure out the code. And I think I damn well know where that goddamn code is. The sisters. This is not... This is not the one, right? Oh, what luck it is. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Blue, red, and black. Each one has a number. Blue says 18. Two says two, zero two. Two says zero two. One says 18. And three says 18. Okay, so six numbers. 18, zero two, 18. I think. Let me try that out. Mystery solving. Real detective work here. Get up inside here. Hit dead. One, eight, zero, two, one, eight. Fucking A! Whoa, fishing rod! How awesome! Now I can go to the river to see if I catch something. Damn right. And now I gotta go and change the damn time again. So, give me a second. We're gonna, we're gonna exit this. I'm gonna change the time on my computer. Hopefully I don't have to restart the game to do this. Yeah, let me get that time at night. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought I bugged it out. It, it spawned me at night, thank God. It spawned me at night outside. Okay, we got the fishing rod. Uh, fishing rod, there we go. Now. Gotta go to the river. There was a spot on the river over here that let me think. Or, you know what? Why don't I just try fishing in any river? Well, there you go. This looked like a long fish. This is a <laughs> weird mini game. Come on, y'all. Come and grab the fish. I don't think I need to do anything else. I'm not really gonna press anything. Maybe I could fish something with some bait, but I'm afraid not this kind of fish. Okay, so not here. Let's try a different part of the river. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you see that? Too fast. Was the coelacanth the thing that just like flew by me? There it is. Oh no, it's like heading where? Come down. Gotcha! Is it different? 
Oh. There it is. Come on, little fishy. Oh, oh, Christ. Damn it, he got away. Did, please tell me you didn't eat the fucking bait. Oh, thank God. Okay. I didn't press it fast enough. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it, it was like such a good opportunity, and now I squandered it. Please take it. Oh! It's right there. Come here. Gotcha. Not this time. Not today, demon. I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna, like, spam this button as much as possible. Gotcha. <sighs> I, did I get it? I got it! And I got an achievement! Get seal. Get sel sel canto? Got it. Good. Hell yeah. Now, I need to make that curry. Hey, I got it! Hello, son! Bring me the curry and the fish you have over there. I'm gonna prepare a meal that will make you want to lick your fingers. Magic, 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 magic. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Got it. Eat it fast before the giant dinosaur smells it. He loves it more than anything. Really now? You don't say. So let's use this here. Hey, you want the? You want this? I think you'll like it, monster. Your eyes are fucked. Look at that. The monster got up just in time. Yeah, get out of the way. Thank you! You're so cute! Except for your eyeball, but whatever. Finally, we made it. Hey, there's the alien! Oh my god. Shark sheep? Oh, I'm playing as. The alien, and it looks like I have an item of Daphne. Uh, okay. And there's nothing else. Let's just leave. No. Go inside. After getting inside the Baobab, the Moon Kid goes up an enormous something, and I didn't see what the rest of it was. What the fuck is this place? Now this is when her mother arrives and sees her. Her sister and me in the middle of... <coughs> Good heavens, who dares to interrupt our monstrous dinner dinner? Brrr. Mission updated. Summoned. Found. Burp. Trying giving it to the... Trying giving it to the girl with the red earrings. Burp. Oh, I see. It's you. You're a half an hour late. And we're starving, where the hell have you been? Let it be the last time that you ask us to meet and turn up half an hour late. Our starters are getting cold. Logbook. In this part, not only do they not breathe oxygen, but also eat disgustingly and primitively. Burp. Come on, quick! Give us the girl! Put her on the plate! I want some thigh and head! What? No, don't do it! Don't! Don't do it, Moon Kid! Don't do it, Moon Kid! Don't do it, Moon Kid! Let's leave! Aw, oh, man! No! No, 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 no. I have to use the stairs to get onto the table? I guess they're that big. Uh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. Mission completed. Burp. Searching coordinates for the return portal. Not so fast, kid! You still owe me one last favor. Your mission doesn't end here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't see anything else here. I don't see any secrets. I'm just gonna check a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. No. Where do I gotta go? 
I'm looking at the map. It looks like there's a house right at the far end here. It looks like I can keep going. Oh, I can't. Starfish is in the way. Foolish ass starfish. Yeah, we can get inside there. Okay, let me uh, take a look around and just... Okay, there's nothing. So let's enter. Act 12, the party. Hey, man. What's up, bro? Hey, what's with the long face? And what's the music over there? I think I'm gonna... I think I'm going up for a drink. Ahem. <clears throat> what is such a vulgar creature doing in the mansion? I'm sure you're not on the guest list. I'm sure... I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. Guests? Ha. Of course. I come on behalf of... Um, well, you see, the truth is that... As I imagined, you're not on the guest list. I'm sorry, but I must ask you to leave the house. Hey, let's talk! Cut it out, idiot. I'm an FBI agent and I've come to look for information about a kidnapping. So you have to let me in whether or not you like it or not. Whether or not you like it or not? Damn it. Mm. Is that true, sir? Good. I think you may be able to help us. You see, a huge oven vagos broke into our kitchen. If you could be so kind to me. Okay, okay, now I get it. If I kill this creature, will you let me in? How strange. It's the first time I came across a dungeon in which I have to kill the boss first before entering. Correct, sir. Fly back here when you've killed that monster and I will let you in. I will give you some advice. That creature changes its properties depending on the color of its fur. You will find it useful to mix ice with fire. Thank you. And uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'll be back again with some more of this Baobab's Mausoleum. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. And I'll be back again with some more indie game goodness. That music, though.